Uh, the Long Beach Airport has an iconic 70s style building in the old school airport feel. It caters to a few airlines, Southwest, JetBlue, Delta, Alaskan, Allegiant, and Hawaiian also. The older main building handles most of the ticketing and pre-flight stuff, checking in your bags and everything. Just outside the building, you'll go through the line to go to TSA. TSA is indoors. Of course, the machines can't be out in the rain in case it rains. The two newer buildings handle the gates. One through four is in the building to the left. It has a few shops and some restaurants. And five through 11 can be found in the building to the right, which also has a few shops and restaurants. It's a small airport, so one of the things I really like about it is it doesn't have your normal gate, which brings us to our next thing. Frequently asked questions. Do you board and deplane on the tarmac? Yes, you do. This is one of my favorite things about this airport. Not many airports allow you to do this, so whenever you get the chance, it's always great to do. Is the baggage claim outside? Why, yes, yes it is. Can you rent a car at the airport? Yes, there are usually five options there. Avis, Budget, Enterprise, Hertz, and National. Is there on-site COVID testing? Yes, there is. Just go to cityhealthuc.com backslash LGB backslash for all the information you need about getting COVID tested at the Long Beach Airport. It's usually done in this parking lot or this parking lot. How do you get to Disneyland from Long Beach Airport? Of course, there are multiple options. You could take a shuttle service, shared or non-stop, or you could do what we did and take a taxi. Just by crossing a crosswalk, you'll find a taxi stand. Make sure to ask for the $47 flat rate. If you don't ask for the $47 flat rate, they're just gonna charge you the normal rate, which ends up being close to 60. Which airport is closest to Disneyland? John Wayne or Long Beach? They are actually almost exactly the same distance apart. So make sure when you're looking for flights out here, that you check both Long Beach and John Wayne, Santa Ana, for your flights. As you can see, it's 24, 31 minutes from Long Beach and 24, 31 minutes from John Wayne. Which airport is the best to get to the cruise terminals? Yes, if you're taking a cruise out of the Long Beach terminal, the Long Beach airport is the closest terminal. But also keep in mind, if you're going out of the Los Angeles cruise terminal, Long Beach is closer than LAX. LAX isn't too much further away. The difference is so minimal that it gives you both options of an airport if you're coming to either one of the terminals. So when you're looking for flights, make sure to check both Long Beach and LAX for the best price. Hi, I'm Jamie. And I'm Bobby. And together, we are your, your travel, travel gurus. gurus.